What's up, what's up, Underdogs of Addiction family? In this video, I'm gonna talk to you guys about how you can go about quitting alcohol. It's cliche, right? But the first thing you have to do to wanna to quit alcohol is alcohol has had to become more painful to you than it's pleasurable. For many years, I'd be that dude who woke up from a hangover and I'd be like, oh man, I'm done, this sucks. As soon as I felt better, I would be right back out there drinking. It wasn't until I had a lot of life circumstances happen to me. I have a video that I'll pin in the description. Um, drinking alcohol caused DUIs, cocaine possessions, street fights, you know, domestic violence from my girlfriend hitting me because we were both drunk and being stupid. Um, you know, all these different things. And uh, the, the pain started to overtake the pleasure. But it was over a course of about 10 years. Um, the hangovers got worse. And then cocaine got involved. You know, and just... It just it was a nightmare. So the first step, you guys, is, like I said, it has to become more painful. The job loss, the relationship loss, the, the health issues. You know what I'm saying? Um, then, what's next after that? Well, then you have to learn how to build a social circle without people that are gonna, going to enable your addiction and push you to keep using. Simple as it said, I've been to treatment, I've been to rehab, I did all these things. As soon as I allowed myself to hang out with those friends again, I love those guys, I was sucked right back in. It wasn't until I stopped hanging around those friends that enabled me and started hanging back with those friends who empowered me. Those friends who called me out, those friends who said, come over, call me. I don't care what time of night it is. If you're struggling, I'm here for you. That's step number two. Another step is assessing whether you need to get treatment. Do you, do you need to go to rehab? Do you, do you have some trauma inside of you, sexual, physical, any type of abuse that you need to work through? Because I know I did. And I could put band-aids on it as good as anybody. But until I was able to start to heal that stuff two years ago, I went to treatment for 11 months, six months in sober living, six months in treatment. That's when I began healing. I feel more at peace and at ease with myself now than I ever did because I have the tools. So you need to ask yourself, you know, is your addiction literally just because you took an addictive substance and you got addicted to it? Or is it because you're trying to mask and numb something? Because if you're trying to mask and numb something until you are un, until you are able to, to heal that, you're going to continue to mask. Or you're going to get addicted to success. You're going to get addicted to all different kind of things. And I guess it's more healthy to be addicted to healthy things like working out and success than drugs. But that's to each their own. Um, going to treatment was great for me. And I would highly suggest treatment to anybody that um, struggled with, uh, you know, trauma. Some people don't need it. Okay, next step, or, or, or also, do you go to AA? A lot of people are against AA. A lot of people don't like what AA has to offer. I was that guy on the fringe, AA, going to church. But regardless of what you believe, going to AA and going to church, it got me out of my own head. It got me social, because a lot of us addicts like to isolate ourselves. And I became connected to my community and I found a higher power and I found my God. So I would say to all of you guys that, um, you know, I would recommend that. Uh, another step is what are your goals in life? You know, it's very easy to become addicted to it's very easy to become addicted to substances or any type of addiction when you don't have anything to work towards, you know? You don't have anything that inspires you. 
So I think it's very important for people to have goals and things that they want to achieve in their life so they can change, so they can have something to aspire to. And another step is just keep trying. You can't give up. You can't stop. You have to keep going. I've had a lot of time with success with sobriety and I've had a lot of ups and downs, but each time that I'm down, I learn something more about myself that needs to be healed. So that is probably the number one thing, you guys, is don't beat yourself up. Be kind to yourself and learn. You're going to relapse sometime. You never know. It might be the last time you drink, but it might not. You just have to keep going. Don't give up and keep figuring things out. This is a journey. You're not, no one's perfect, you know? And so that's all I really wanted to say, you guys, is those are the main things that have helped me on my recovery from alcohol addiction. And I hope something I said in this video resonates with you. And just know that you can do it. You can quit. So have a good day.